Really fun fight here with Pollyanna Viana taking on Yasmin Lucindo. And most women's fights, I don't say it's probably going to be a finish. But this one, I feel like there's probably going to be a finish in this fight with Pollyanna Viana. It's pretty remarkable. I mean, you look at her record, all of her wins are in the first round. I mean, you never see that with female fighters. So this girl is extremely dangerous. She's a beast. I feel like she is coming into her own a little bit more. And uh, she has a tough test in front of her, though, with Yasmin Lucindo, who is a 21-year-old girl but fights like she's a seasoned vet. She had a really good debut where her and Yasmin Hargwe went to war, and then her last fight she fought Brogan Walker, which to me was kind of a free win. Brogan Walker looks totally done to me, and uh, she dominated her. And um, for Pollyanna, she's won three of her last four fights. She got a highlight reel knockout of Virginia Frey in like 45 seconds her last fight. And even her loss to Tabitha Ricci, that was more of a fight IQ loss. Like, And that's the main issue with um, Pollyanna is she just can make mental errors. And I feel like that's a big issue with her style overall. But when you look at um, how these girls match up, you see... Early on in the fight, I think Yasmin Lucindo has to be very, very cautious. I mean, Pollyanna striking is is pretty nasty, man. I mean, the girl is very, very fast. She's tall, long, and aggressive for the weight. She throws really nice kicks to all parts of the body. And then she could pull Connor with her hand. She has very fast hands. And she'll throw in combination, real slick. She has power. And uh, Lucindo sometimes get real wild with her punches and kind of overextend, throw herself out of position. And she can't get in a firefight early with Viana. I think that would be a mistake because Viana is cool, calm, and composed in the fire. And she is someone that's a known finisher. So Lucindo has to be smart. I think she has to kind of be technical with her striking, draw out Viana with feints, and, um, you know, not be afraid to grapple with Viana either because I think that is also another path to victory. But I think that basically Lucindo has the better striking. She definitely has the better boxing. It's just she can't get wild. She has to stay tight. She has to throw a combination. She has to be on the pressure, and she has to kind of try to take away that kinetic fight and the kind of aura that Viana tries to bring and make it more like a technical type of fight and try to bully her and make her know that this is going to be Lucindo's night. And Viana obviously... The majority of her wins are with arm bars off her back from her full guard. So you know when you take her down. Her takedown defense is pretty much non-existent. But you have to be ready for her to throw up a lot of submissions and throw up submissions really quickly. So you have to be on point with your submission defense. You always have to be very alert. And Lucindo has good grappling. She could take girls down, hold them down. She can mix it up uh, and use her striking, set up the takedowns, hold you in the clinch. She's good everywhere. So it's just going to be... Um, Early on, Lucindo can't brawl with Viana on the feet. And then if she can avoid the submission, I just think she has the better all-around game. And in terms of cardio and fight IQ, Lucindo has the edge there. I feel like Polana Viana, she will is willing to flop to her back and stay on her back, waste a lot of time um, losing the judge's eyes. And if she doesn't get that finish, she just doesn't really know how to win minutes. And I feel like Lucindo is a lot better minute winner. She's the better fighter overall. She's just maybe not quite as dynamic and dangerous. But she's still dynamic and dangerous in her own right. Both these girls are kind of two of the better finishers in the weight to me. And I feel like Lucindo, she hasn't gotten a finish in the UFC yet. But I think she's going to be able to wear on Viana and uh, maybe TKO her. So I'm going to go with um, Lucindo via second or third round finish. And I think she's going to kind of move towards the top 15 after this victory.